On this debate tonight, Manish Tiwari, senior leader of the Congress, former INB minister, MJ Akbar of the BJP, Manoj Jha of the RJD, and Pawan Varma of the JDU, because people really want to know, people really want to know what this political realignment is all about. You are creating some kind of a demo experiment where in Bihar, B Lalu, Nitish, and Sonia will come together to take on the BJP. Manish Tiwari, at first glance, this shows a great amount of political desperation. A, desperation. B, a complete lack of confidence in your own ability to, to resurrect yourself. And C, a huge compromise in ideology because all these three parties have been cursing each other in different ways over the last three or four months. Why are you being desperate in the way that you are with this political realignment? Manish Tiwari. Well, uh, Mr. Goswami, I think you are wrong on all three counts. First of all, alliances are not against anybody. Alliances are for those particular political for, uh, formations, given the That's reality on the ground and as to how do they appreciate it. Number two, you know, insofar as uh, resurrection is concerned, resurrection depends upon what the political dynamics in a particular state are. And in the case no, of Bihar, alliance, if there was a this, feeling this that all progressive and At secular elements about it, need to come together, need Mr. to Tiwari, come together, about it. so 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 they need to come together. So therefore, you know what's what's the what's the big deal about it? In which fact, you, you had the Bharatiya Janata which Party, which till the other day was an alliance with the Janata Dal United. Till the JDU decided to break that alliance. So therefore, depending upon the feedback which you get from your cadres, you get into state-specific uh, uh, relationships or state-specific arrangements, and no. that's the nature of real politics. It's not. You. It's not. Uh, MJ Akbar, let me get you in. Manish Tiwari says this is not an alliance against anyone. Well, I thought it is the Congress party which got a pounding in the elections. And ask anybody, Manish Tiwari, but I'll let MJ respond to you. This is a simply a shot at political survival. MJ Akbar, is this against the BJP or not? Your response to Mr. Tiwari. My friend Manish, My friend Manish is a good spokesperson which is why I think he produces a de defense for the indefensible, but that's, that's the art. <laughs> the, uh, you know, the, the, if you look at it politically, previously the alliances, uh, the, the record of alliances was that they were generally against the Congress because the Congress was the central fact of electoral politics in this country. From the 60s onwards, we've seen it. That has changed. The BJP is now the central fact of, uh, this, of uh, electoral politics and these alliances are being manufactured in order to try and stop the BJP which has actually won the elections on good governance. Now you talk of a history of three or four months. It's not three or four months, it's probably two decades. If you remember correctly, you know, even in this alliance, the very first demand made by Lalu Yadav for this alliance was that Nitish Kumar, who has been probably their best bet as chief minister, would have to leave his job. That is why Nitish Kumar is no longer CM of, uh, of Bihar at the moment. That is the level of bitterness. Th that is the level. Are you really going to say that the present CM no, Manish of Bihar says it's is better than Nitish Kumar? Yeah. Nitish Kumar? Then in that Manish case... Manish Tiwari says Sorry? that you are mistaken. He says, and that I think is the critical issue to debate tonight. Yeah, no, Manish uh, Tiwari refuses to acknowledge that this is an alliance uh, against the BJP. Uh, uh, then what is it for? His hand goes up. Yes, Manish Tiwari. You want to revise what you just said? May I come in for a moment, Mr. Goswami? You know, all that I... All, all, but the fact all, all, that this is all that I want to point out to Mr. Akbar, after the hammering which these parties have got in the last in this present general election, it's a post-2014 general election alliance, and if the hammering that they never expected had not happened, I don't think this alliance would have taken shape. It's an alliance of the desperate. Allow yes. me to just point out to Mr. M. J. Akbar that way back in 2010 when the congress had 206 seats in parliament you know i had made a statement that there is one national party 
and the others have got reduced to regional parties. You know, unfortunately, the dynamics of politics change so quickly, uh, Mr. Akbar, that the statement that you're making today, that the Bharatiya Janata Party is the central fact of Indian politics, may not be true as we go into 2015, 2016, and definitely not by 2019. So therefore, you know, contemporary politics in India changes very quickly. In so fact, that, between May and but, August, but I think uh, the, the country itself that's why you can want discern to a sea change. That's why you want so to therefore, so therefore, so therefore, and, and that's so, why you so, want to clutch so on to Nitish Kumar, so therefore, Mr. Tiwari, so therefore, Mr. Tiwari, Mr. Tiwari, Mr. Tiwari, so therefore, Mr. Pawan Varma, so therefore, Mr. Pawan Varma, who is the member of parliament from the JDU, you need to understand Mr. Tiwari, that alliances are not against anybody. Mr. Tiwari, alliances you are, are making a very the appreciation no, you are making of the a very, uh, reality as, determined attempt. As, 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 as those political formulations see it. Mr. Tiwari, you are well, making a very a determined, determined attempt, attempt to make this look like a normal thing. The ground, it's which you not a normal thing. <laughs> After all, ask Manish, well, ask Manish Tiwari, ask, well, why ask are you Pawan Varma. About Pawan it? Varma, why heart of heart, has no faith in it? this arrangement. Pawan Varma is an honest man yeah. on most occasions. And you ask Pawan Varma, he will tell you, I have no faith in this. After all, why well, would I have faith in dealing with a person who called my leader a madman? Lalu called Nitish a madman. Today you are doing business with a person who called you a madman. Why? Because that's the only instrument to take on the BJP. To embarrass yourself, Mr. Mr. Pawan Varma. Why are you embarrassing yourself with this? Uh, uh, Arnab, let me say this is an alliance from our point of view for Bihar. There is no doubt that the parties that have come together have been in the past, in one way or the other, either with each other or antagonistic to each other. We are facing a new avatar is of the this, BJP in Bihar. Is and this an alliance against the BJP? Please, please. Is this an it alliance against the BJP an alliance or not? Against the BJP. It, uh, Arnab, you know, it's very unfair. I, you, I speak and you start interrupting me. It is an alliance undoubtedly against the BJP and what it represents from our point of view. In the last election, while certainly governance was projected and certainly there was no one who harnessed better the anti-incumbency mood against the Congress than Mr. Naren Modi, anyone who knows Bihar knows that the number of seats the BJP and its allies got was based on a massive polarization on the grounds of religion, but with the facade of governance. Today with the budget we've seen that there has been a complete betrayal of the interests of the people of Bihar. They don't figure anywhere in the imagination of the BJP in power in Delhi. They have not made any impact on either prices or on jobs. This alliance has come together, in my view, on the ideological plank of ensuring inclusive growth, of ensuring social harmony, and working, it's a work in progress, work of trying to work to give credible good governance. So there is no doubt that it's against the BJP. We are not at all reticent in admitting that. You must understand. The Congress that. is. As far as opportunism the Congress as was. was said. As, as the Congress as is and the Congress was reticent. Said, Sir, the Congress is. I'm glad you are honest. After having a line. No, no, just let me finish what, uh, 20 seconds more only. Uh, after, as far as opportunism is concerned, I don't think Mr. Akbar should talk about it after aligning with Mr. Paswan, who called the BJP the Bharat Jalao Party, fating Mr. Paswan and joining hands with him. So let's not get lectures on that count. Let's try and see politics in a dynamic mode. I am glad. The situation in Bihar. I, I am glad to understand what this alliance no, is about. No, I, I am. I am glad. We need the credible no, democratic I, opposition to the BJP and what it represents. I am glad that you have taken away the cloak of fake diplomacy of the discussion. I am glad we've come down to basics. Yes, it is against the BJP. Yes, it is aimed at teaching a lesson to the Modi government. Yes, it is a work in progress, M.J. Akbar. Pawan Varma candidly says it is all three. 
And if they get their mathematics right, it might prove more menacing than you believe your response to your response to a very candid Pawan Varma. MJ Akbar. Well, first let me yeah, first let me correct Pawan. I, I think he uh, I think he came late. I never used the word opportunism. I merely I merely stress the fact that at the beginning of this alliance that the alliance began with a decision. The decision is that the best candidate for chief minister that this alliance had was Nitish Kumar. Would Pawan uh, disagree with me on that? If he doesn't disagree, he has to ask why Nitish Kumar was asked to step down by Lalu Yadav and why Sharad Yadav ji actually forced him to step down as chief minister. And that is why I said that this particular alliance is basically has begun on a very discordant note. They have kept aside some of their rhetoric of the very recent past, even the rhetoric that one heard during the last general elections. And in the effort to uh, try patch together, as I said, an electoral uh, groundwork, which I don't think will travel because, uh, again, anyone who knows the situation in Bihar knows that there are certain traditional uh, voting patterns between <coughs> but, uh, castes and... But this is, this is not a, so on, this is not a Bihar specific thing alone anymore. As much as the leader this is a national experiment being played out in Bihar, as Pawan Varma has admitted. My question is, Mr. Jha, for Lalu Prasad, it's no, very he good. Said, He's looking he at it from the point Bihar of view of Bihar. Fake. But do you know how dangerous it is? It's a huge political risk. If you lose, huge consequences. A, your so-called grand political experiment to dislodge one single party would have failed. B, your stature nationally and in the state will diminish considerably. Three, it will be a death blow to this communal secular card as an electoral tool against the BJP. You are today like a gambler on the political stage, Mr. Jha, Mr. Tiwari and Pawan Varma. You are three gamblers on the political stage. And you know that this is the last roll of our dice. Uh, if you I... fail in Bihar, people of this country will reject you at a national level for a long time to come. Do you agree, Mr. Jha? Uh, I have no reason to agree with this. Uh, let me tell you, Arnab, uh, first of all, uh, do you want the history, political history and political dynamism to, to conspicuously go out after 26th of May? We un understood the reality of 26th of May and we realized that a political pa party has come, not only right wing, it has a tendency to go berserk. Now, either we remain unwilling, partner, uh, unwilling prisoners of history or we try creating a new experiment, charting out a new course in history. That is precisely what we are doing. And let me tell you, when you say ideologically we are not similar, in fact, strategically we might have been different in last so many years, but ideologically we have same kind of commitment. In fact, I tell you, um, Amji Akbar Saab is there. He's a great uh, uh, admirer of Nehru. This is 125th birth centenary, in year, uh, centenary year. We Sir, don't use Nehru to justify your political move. To the parliament. Don't do that, Mr. Jha. Don't use Nehru. No, 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 please. Because ne I, no, it's no, quite apparent Nehru, to me today that you are Nehru actually clutching at straws to explain what's going on. All you need to say, and yes, MJ Akbar can come back on the debate. Can all I, you need to say Arnab, to Mr. Arnab, Akbar that alone Arnab, we will lose, Arnab. together we might win. Irrespective of the fact that we have called Arnab, the, uh, J, uh, Lalu Arnab. Prasad in the past a communal person. Irrespective of the fact that... That, I, that in the past Nitish Kumar has called Lalu names, Lalu has called Nitish names, the JDU has said that Lalu has tried to close cases with regard to the Bhagalpur riots, Lalu is a fish uh, uh, without water when he doesn't have power, Lalu is a rental player of the Congress party, Lalu will take Bihar to the dark ages, Lalu is a person who has no ideology and no scruples. These are things which Pawan Verma said about you. Today you want to fool the people uh, Arnab, saying you are ideologically similar Arnab, in any case. Arnab, Arnab. No, in any case, in any case, I let MJ Akbar respond to that. The real stark questions before the uh, Bihar electorate, in my view, in these by-elections that are coming up, is what precisely are we voting for? 
and that is really you know by elections actually if you look at it historically i remember in 2009 just after the 2009 elections there were 16 or 18 uh, by elections in which the uh, then nda which was uh, with uh, nitish kumar and the bjp uh, did far worse then Uh, then they thought that they would uh, get but when it came to the assembly elections later on the same alliance of nitish kumar and uh, bjp won very handsomely so i think by elections of course <coughs> will give you some sense of the mood that it you appear be, nervous uh, mr so akbar you deny that but uh, they are you appear not nervous really mr akbar very comprehensive are, are, uh, in are you appear nervous for a party no, no, for I'm a party that got two eight two seats i must confess that you appear I'm quite nervous. 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 nervous because you know the mathematics better perhaps manish tiwari why no, no. mjr got under playing I'm, these elections there is should have I, taken them all i, I apologize said, let three parties I come together to defeat you i apologize if you consider my facial expression to be nervous but uh, that no, is I certainly not my intention and i tell you that when the results come out all the arnab that you have been saying about the mantling and dismantling of what i call the election or uh, you know alliance of the desperate will take place and the results will prove it manish tiwari no no uh, alnab well i think mr goswami you are possibly you know over exaggerating and over hyping you know what is really a state level arrangement for the simple reason that let's understand that the bjp may have got 272 plus seats but the bharatiya janata party only got 31% of the popular vote and number 2 every political party approaches an alliance with its own political understanding and if both mr pavan varma and mr jha who represents the jdu and the rjd respectively you know see the specter of uh, right wing fundamentalism actually looming over the horizon and that impels them to try and put together a grand alliance in the case of bihar you know to see that all liberal and secular forces it, come together you believe that you know, what's the great problem Manish, with that you believe I mean, that you believe all, it's about after, right after, wing after, fundamentalism after, or political after all aren't alliances mj is it about well, right wing well, fundamentalism that, fundamentalism uh, or political Jeep? survival i think that's the moot point mj Mr Goswami can I ask you a counter question Well you know do you uh, believe just a that little, there is just any ideology in politics or not was not considered If right you believe that uh, there is ideology in politics Nitish Kumar Mr Akbar just, Mr. just one second allow me to complete for almost Mr. as Akbar long as just allow me to complete So you know for a sudden switch because his preferred or he could not become i mean i don't want to get into uh, political debate of this kind around personalities but i think there was a, a large element of the personal involved in this decision rather than ideological and that is really uh, what is the basic uh, fact however the voter i also take objection or no to calling the voter communal I mean, do you think that Bihar voters who has voted so handsomely for the BJP, all the Bihar voters are communal? Is that what you are saying? I think a please have I think you're, you're, for the voters. I voter. think you're hearing things, Mr. M. J. Akbar. Nobody said voter, that. Well, uh, what Mr. what Manish Tiwari said is that is that Lalu and Nitish are responding to the specter no, no, of right wing fundamentalism. Let him explain that. Paul Verma, you believe in that? that? This, no, you no, believe the Manish Tiwari theory? Yes, Manish. And allow me to supplement that by saying that. You know, do you believe? Do you do you believe that there is an ideology in politics or not? Please allow me to speak. Pavan, allow me to just complete for a moment. I, I just wanted to make two points. First of all, Mr. Goswami, don't don't you believe that polarization is a reality of Indian politics? And the second thing which we must equally understand is that ideological disposition is as much a reality. So who said it isn't against polarization but who said and for ideological disposition who if there is an alliance which all I'm saying is that Lalu know, repeatedly you know, called Nitish so a failure on all fronts he said is that Nitish is a picture of misrule of corruption and he is also responsible for the rising instances of rape in Bihar Today you come together and you are asking me, Manish Tiwari, well, whether Mr. I believe in ideology or not. I do believe in ideology, but I also believe in consistency. Mr. Unlike Mr. you, Mr. Ra no, no, Mr. Ram Vilas Paswan, who is a Mr. Ram Vilas Paswan, who is now a minister in the NDA government, had resigned from the same government in 2002 over the Gujarat program. So therefore, you know, if you are saying that all of us are opportunists 
and this is not an ideological alliance, then please kindly reflect on the other side as to whom has Mr. Akbar's party decided to align with. And I do not want to reduce it to a personality-centric debate, but the fact remains that given the political dynamics, if political formulations appreciate the reality and come together on a platform... Which is what? Why know, don't you articulate it? I that's want, to, I want to hear it from and you. And that is not survival. Why don't you articulate it? Why doesn't Pawan Verma articulate it? What is the reality? That you can't take on the BJP? Sir, you can't take is, on the BJP, Pawan sir, Verma. Sir, the reality is that the BJP won, won the last parliamentary elections fairly handsomely. They did so on a vote percentage of 36% or there, thereabouts in an alliance with fairly antagonistic elements including Mr. Paswan's party. The truth also is that fighting separately perhaps in their worst performance against an exceptionally aggressive BJP, filling a great void created by the anti-incumbency mood against the then existing government Fight. and the centre in a parliamentary election. In these circumstances, the RJD and the JDU got, got something close to 46% of the vote. So I am trying to tell you that the real truth before the non-BJP democratic opposition in India is that if you fight separately, you are going to lose. But if you unite and put your house in order and work for inclusive Yeah, but growth, don't use the ideology argument. That's, no, no, one second. You can win. Just don't and use the ideology argument, Paul. Because the BJP Sink represents. the ideology argument. The BJP represents. Don't use ideology. The there is zero ideology in this, Paul. Uh, no, let me finish. There is zero ideology uh, no, in this. Let me this. finish, please. Where no, is let the ideology? Me you break my sentence midway. I came in very late. The BJP represents the betrayal of Bihar in, the, uh, in their short tenure after the elections. They have neglected agriculture, irrigation, health, education, minorities, women and given no affirmative action to the least developed states, no mention of special category status to Bihar. It is a tantamount to a total betrayal and their promises have not matched with their MJ. performance. And in, in, in addition, there is the threat of communal divide, which is going MJ to hit Akbar. every ordinary human being in their daily lives. Yes. Do we fight yes. it or do no, we I keep quiet? You, but I'm afraid I can't really hear my friends uh, Pavan or Manish uh, at all. Well, let that me summarize what he problems. Let, let me let me summarize what he said, and then I'll take your reaction, MJ Akbar. Let me just summarize what he said and I'll take your reaction. He says that in two and a half to three months, the people of Bihar have been let down by the government. He says there is a resurgence of fundamentalist forces and therefore that is the reason why this alliance is coming together. Pawan Verma's contention and M Manish Tiwari says, of course, there is ideology and there is ideology behind the coming together of these forces. MJ Akbar, would, would you like to respond to him? Well, I, I, I don't think ideology really, it's a question of, you know, putting together an electoral mathematics which frankly doesn't work on the ground. This is a drawing room uh, equation where you put uh, 2 plus 2 uh, plus 2 uh, or 2 plus 2 plus 0 and end up with 3 rather than 4. Uh, this really, as far as the budget is concerned, we have inherited uh, th this budget really is based on the mess that has been left behind by the uh, UPA and despite that I think the finance minister has done a splendid job in, tr in putting together new plans, putting together schemes which will help, I mean will the 100 cities no, miss Bihar? the new hundred cities that are coming up? Will the incentives that are coming about, which are going to be created for jobs, will they two, miss two be No. Three in hands fact, go up. We are in the last five minutes of the debate. Has, has Let's get three hands over, go up. Over, over, over again, that is, that the uh, yes, east, is that the East is really the very, very uh, primary Mr. focus Jha. for the uh, NDA government? Yes, Mr. Jha. Uh, Can I come in uh, here? May I come in for a moment? Yeah. I, in fact, uh, in, in, back, back. in the previous segment, in the previous segment, you had too many things to uh, speak about uh, this arrangement, this alliance. And I couldn't actually answer. Mr. M.J. Akbar came in between. 
you know the last election we lost too many thing, things which were dear to us there was anti incumbency against congress that is not withstanding but we have lost in every nook and corner in northern india in particular the amicable inter community relation you cannot deny you do every almost every alternate day you do news hour debate on and we not only lost fundamental I mean, dear, uh, dearest things we also lost great i mean uh, uh, people like mj akbar to bjp and it is ironical to see that when he uses his poetic imagination that mr lalu prasad yadav made mr nitish kumar resign i think nobody has i mean it, this is fantastic poetic imagination and i thought he writes writes prose better no, I mean, mr jai i don't think your argument is really very constructive here because bo bottom line is You want to tie up with Mulayam Singh Yadav? You have political ambitions moment. there. M J Akbar says this two plus two may, plus two kind may, of mathematical equation I, you are putting I, in. If your basic issue, Pawan no, Verma no, and you will have no. no it is not about mathematics. Basic it is not about mathematics. mathematics. Why do you hope to do? It is about ideological Yadav? compatibility. Why do you hope to do business with Mulayam Singh Yadav? Under whose tenure the maximum number no, of communal riots has taken place in Uttar Pradesh? So we, uh, the the, the fact the, the fact is that Saharanpur or Muradabad, we also know who who are the co-script writers. This didn't happen earlier. Wherever Bipol is scheduled, you see what is happening in UP. So it's not only about Akhilesh Yadav government. There is more to it. There is some other factor also constantly working on it. Uh, that is the reality, and that reality has brought us together. Yes, yes, Pawan Verma. Mr. Uh, Mr. Goswami, Mr. Goswami, I just wanted to remind Between Mr. Mr. Akbar about one promised. thing. It was that uh, two, uh, two so plus two can actually allow me to four. speak, sir. Please, if you look, please at, don't interrupt. Look at the Kong. Uh, Pavan, Pavan, one second. I just, I was just correcting a point. Mr. Akbar said that two, uh, two plus two, you know, is uh, could be three. Also, I was just reminding him that in the context of Bihar in 2004, when you had a Congress RJD LP LJP alliance, two plus two actually became four. So therefore, at times, electoral math does work out. Now, please go ahead. Now, my only short point is in the limited time available. that whether it is the vast number of the poor or even the middle class between the great promises made by a parachuting mr narendra modi who came to bihar for exactly a few couple of hours when all all his visits are put together and what the reality has been delivered the people of india are realizing that the acche de nane wale have actually become apne din aa gaye hain एंड सबका साथ सबका विकास एज बिकम सबका वोट कुछ का विकास एंड देर फोर देर इज अ नीड टू फोर्ज एन ऑल्टरनेटिव पोलिटिकल अलायंस और कॉन्फिग्रेशन दैट कैन चैलेंज दिस ग्रेट बिट्रेल दैट इज द होल पॉइंट एंड बिहार इन पर्टिकुलर दिट्रेल एक्सेप्शनलीट बाई आस्किंग यू वन क्वेश्चन you keep saying there has been a ba great betrayal of the people which is why you've come together so pawan verma you decided in 10 weeks 10 weeks after the general elections that there has been a great betrayal it took you exactly 10 no, weeks to come to that to conclusion you. no let let me answer that arnab in 30 seconds the need to forge a non bjp democratic opposition existed the strength of that argument has become much stronger after seeing the bjp's performance and in particular as demonstrated by its budget there is no imagination in that budget for the poor and even the middle class and the people of bihar are asking we put on verma i i just cannot fathom that argument this is the first time in the history of india that you are saying we are coming up with a national political formation as a as a response to a budget that also a budget that is does not go for the full year the budget was just so you are saying this is an anti arun jetli formation i mean power you are the ideology of the budget i say i you are really stretching uh, ideological I, I leanings of the budget I and mj is smiling at this whole argument you are now linking this political formation to the budget even even manish tiwari no. is amused you are running short of explanations Pawan Verma, to why you did this? No, no. In any no, case, no, uh, Arnab, quick, quick. No, 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 Arnab, I, I, I allow me to come in and, 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 and please do not embarrass uh, Mr. Pawan Verma with my amusement or alleged amusement. Social justice and inclusive growth 
सोशल हार्मनी एंड सेक्युलरिज्म द सेक्युलरिज्म इज अ बैड वर्ड सोशल हार्मनी नाउ देज इज बीन मच मिस यूज एंड अब्यूज बट सोशल हार्मनी सोशल एंड जस्टिस एंड इंक्लूसिव ग्रोथ एंड गुड गवर्नेंस नीतीश कुमार स्टैंड इन पर्टिकुलर फॉर गुड गवर्नेंस इन बिहार ट्रांसफॉर्म द स्टेट for Why, five I, years we had the highest growth rate of I any state in him. india mj last word which is why you've removed him arnab yes phir chala gaya arnab can you hear me yeah i can hear you well i don't know what's i'm sorry because again the audio has been very bad but uh, you know if uh, if uh, the talk of the alliance is uh, you know, i would like to remind you only two things one that this alliance took place before on the day the election results were coming out it has absolutely nothing to do with the budget these are it all very weak and, by the you know all alibis that are being thrown around They, this is being thrown around as a you know when you have nothing left in by way of an argument you have to manufacture a few things which i suppose as part of the you know a bit part of the job of uh, you know what i would call dhun the folk politics but i would also like to remind you that if good governance and if nitish kumar is the symbol of good governance in bihar why did you remove nitish kumar why did you throw him out What Nobody answer do you have to that? That means, according to your do own you estimate, you do not believe in step. good governance in Bihar because the man you the think who represented good governance in Bihar has been summarily sacked by his own party. But he, he, what he, kind he, of message does that? He did sense? not get the support of the people of Bihar in a parliamentary election. And he accepted What? moral responsibility. So you sacked you know, him for the assembly. He election? resigned. Who does that? So you sack him for the assembly elections? At least, at, you, at least no, we've got a frank admission the on election? the news are tonight that this is a formation against the BJP. We'll watch what happens <laughs> in terms of numbers if it works. Mr. Goswami, if it allow doesn't me to work, then these three conclude. parties will have to go to the drawing board allow me to and look at what conclude. they are going to do for the <laughs> next four plus years. Thank you very much for this joining is, me on that chat. This, on the this is against what we.